Hello, this is John from QuantumLifetime.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at electromagnetic radiation which is something that has a very interesting history and examples of electromagnetic radiation are of course light, radio waves, x-rays and gamma rays, microwaves uh, among others. So in the early 1800s sometime a guy called uh, Alessandro Volta discovered that he could pile up a bunch of metal discs with um, salt water, with brine and that would drive some kind of mysterious electric current through, um, through the wires and he actually attached these wires to the, the legs of dead frogs and these, I can't really draw a <laughs> frog's legs but he discovered that um, that these frogs legs would twitch when these wires were attached to them so um, the electricity was making the dead legs of frogs twitch um, so um, these, these voltaic piles as they were called, these early batteries were generating the electric field, a continual electric field and they were maintaining this field and this was driving an electric current along through these wires now in about 1820 a guy called Ørsted who, uh, in, who was Danish he noticed after looking for this for a long time apparently that an electric current flowing through wires which we're now, we, now we would consider this to be a current of electrons he discovered that that would deflect a compass needle that was nearby and he found that in fact a electric current flowing through wires produces a circular magnetic field that um, circles around the wire so um, we have this uh, situation now by this point where it's known that a electric field can generate a magnetic field and then moving forward to about 1830 there was a guy called San Tedeschi in Italy although this, this discovery is popularly credited to Michael Faraday in England but San Tedeschi may have anticipated his work um, and Faraday discovered that a changing magnetic field can in fact create an electric current so a changing magnetic field in fact can generate an electric field and an electric field is just a region of space in which charges tend to move um, and a, an example of moving charges is uh, electric current moving through a wire so Faraday discovered that a changing magnetic field for example moving a magnet in and out of a loop of wire generates a current in the wire and if the wire isn't there there's still an electric field being generated it's just that no electrons flow because um, it's difficult for electricity to flow through air but if you put a magnetic if you put a electric uh, sorry a metal wire there then it's easy for electricity to flow through it in 1860 James Clerk Maxwell in Scotland was looking at all the equations currently known uh, pertaining to electric and magnetic fields and he realised that a changing electric field in space could generate a changing magnetic field at right angles to it which would generate an electric field which would generate a magnetic field and so on and this thing would leap fro leap frog, leapfrog through space at actually the known speed of light and he realised that light is nothing other than electric and magnetic fields generating each other and shooting through space with enormous speed and the last key development was really when Einstein in 1905 realised that an electric field and a magnetic field were the same thing it's just that one's moving very quickly relative to the observer and he proved in his famous paper on the electro electrodynamics of moving bodies in 1905 is uh, where he introduced relativity that electric and magnetic fields are really in some way the same thing now we're going to go on to model a electromagnetic uh, wave 
just by looking at the electric component of it and using some very simple equations there. But that's enough for this tutorial, and until next time, keep it real.